Lemkin Solitaire and Equalizer Seeders and Planters offer disruptive innovation like vertical banding, dry and or liquid onboard fertilizer, and great prices. Go to lemkindemo.com for more information and to request a demo. Bernard Tobin here at the Commodity Classic in Denver, Colorado. I'm over at Case IH now catching up with Dave Brennan. Dave, how's it going? Excellent. So it's a great show. Some of the best producers in the world here, and we're able to talk to them and talk to them about what Case IH has to offer in the next year or so. Now, you and I have had many conversations about planters. I want to talk today about the 2160 early riser updates, model year 2026. And what I guess. First of all, Dave, I mean, just the size of options available. You've got 10 different configurations now, right? Yeah, so this 2160 frame style, so that's our largest frame style, goes all the way up to 90 feet wide in a number of different row spacings, 30 inch, all the way down to now, the 10th configuration that you mentioned, this 24 row, 22 inch configuration. So really a good option for those growers that are looking for that little bit wider, narrow, or wider uh, row spacing, wider than that typical 15 inch row spacing. Uh, and there's some really unique frame uh, design uh, incorporated in this 24 row 22. And one of those is you'll see there's no frame draft tubes. So those angled tubes that would support those wings, they're absent from this configuration. So accessibility into that main frame area for seed clean out, all that is, is second to none. Let's talk about, uh, I guess, the electronics package, a big part of this, uh, this operation, Dave, um, and the link to the road unit. Yeah, so model year 26, which we will start building at our plant uh, manufacturing facility here uh, in just a couple weeks, actually, uh, preparing those planters for next season, spring of 2026. And so those changes are, are maybe not so visual to some growers. They're, they're kind of under the hood. So we've got some electronics that have changed, controllers that have changed, and what that does for us as, as an enabler to additional feedback for that operator in the cab. We know growers are putting nutrients on more and more with that planter pass. Help get that plant up early, get it started, get that, get that plant development started. And so we want to be able to visualize in the cab that per row liquid flow. So how much am I putting on per row? And it shows me the delta or the variance from row to row to ensure that one particular row isn't being starved, which we know can be a huge impact to yield at the end of the season. Any other key features that we should be talking about? Yeah, so as we look at this uh, 2000 series, model year 2026, we talked about that EM flow sense, but there's some also some other options that go with uh, liquid fertilizer. And one of those happens to be the Conceal product. So that's a two by two, by two application option factory installed to apply that liquid fertilizer on either side about three inches off either side of that of that seed placement and then up to an inch and a half deep so for growers putting on a little higher rate uh, of a nitrogen product typically uh, it's a great application option for them final question uh, order availability when are one of these uh when are they going to be rolling yeah absolutely so we today are taking orders at our dealers uh, for model year 2026. So that early order writing program, as I said, we're going to be building in a couple weeks. We're starting to get that plant rolling up, getting those orders brought in. So I'd encourage uh, folks to get out, talk to their dealer, visit caseih.com, and see those changes for model year 2026. Great stuff, Dave. Always great to catch up with you at Commodity Classic. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much.